Okay. Got one more exercise for Pace today, and then we'll let him rest his brain and do something else. Um, what we're going to do now is work on two commands called switch and tight. These are directional commands to get your dog to um, go in a particular direction or to change directions. A tight means to come make a sharp turn towards you, usually like a 180 turn towards you. Um, a, a switch is exactly the opposite, which is a 180 turn away from you. Um, depending on, on who you're working with, some people will add another command for a 90 degree turn. Um, but right now we're just going to work on a 180 um, towards you and a 180 away from you. This will come in handy when you've got maybe two tunnels and you want your dog to make a, a tight turn into this this one here. Or if he's coming through the closer one, to make a tight turn away from you into the other tunnel. So what we're going to do with um, Pace. Hi Pace. What we're going to do with him is we're going to start off with the... Let's start off with tight. Um, let's see. Come here. So we're going to put Pace on the other side of this gate. The gate is just kind of a visual help for us more than anything. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the hand, uh, the foot in the hand opposite from him. And we're going to say tight and bring him in. So he makes a tight turn and is now on this side. Um, when I do this, my body is also turning. Pace, I'm tight. My body is also turning, so I am going in the same direction that he is as well. Um, and my body serves as as a cue for him on where he's supposed to be. Pace, come tight. We start off with this again really close. And then later on, if you understand this command better, you can use it at a distance. Um, right now we just use it really close. Um, let's go ahead and do that one more time. Okay. And usually if you're, if you're working your dog, you always have you hand next to your dog. Um, except when you're changing directions. And then you want to handle with the hand that is going to be next to your dog. So in this case, when he's... Hey. When he's over here, we have this hand. But when I go to turn him... Come here, Pace. When I go to turn him, I'm going to use this hand that's going to be next to him. Good boy, Pace. Good boy. So to do switch, which is the turn away from you, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start with him right here next to us, going along. And then we're going to say switch. And there he is turning right next to us and away from us. Good boy, Pace. Hey, Pace. Switch. Good dog. Very good. Good boy. Ready? Switch. Yeah. Good boy. And eventually, um, you'll see that um, you won't need his treats as much and you'll be able to, to give that command um, without having your hand quite close to close. And you'll use his hand just to turn the dog. Um, and he actually did very good for as new as he is at this. Um, to use your, your hands to cue the dog to turn away from you. Um, we can get rid of the aids here. Um, the aids are a good way to start out, though. They give a visual cue for you and for your dog. Uh, but if I don't have them, a switch is still just the same thing. Turn away from me. Good. And a tight is still just the same thing. Turn tight towards me. And if you use a little speed as you go into that, it draws the dog a little bit sharper so that they make a tighter turn. Switch. <laughs> and sometimes it'll take a little while for the dog to catch on to... Uh, where that hand is going and be able to follow that hand. So sometimes you might have to go a little bit slower and have the food a little bit lower so it's in front of the dog's nose. Uh, some dogs turn better than others or are more comfortable with those turns. Uh, some dogs get uncomfortable with your hand right next to them. Um, so you just kind of take a little practice and uh, work through that. Go back on. Switch. Oops. Good. Very good. Yes. Switch. Good. Okay. Come tight. Good. Good boy. Sit. Good sit. Good boy.
So one of the things we want to focus on is remembering which hand we're using. If we're, if we're working our dog, we want to use the hand next to the dog. We're sending him to an obstacle. Good boy. If we're turning our dog, we're usually going to use the other hand that they're going to be following after the turn. Good boy, Paige. Good boy.